Coach, go back to Friday night, and I know it's frustrating, and we talked about it a little bit just trying to get this thing rolling again for you guys, and I bet it's hard. You get off the bus, you kind of tell something's wrong. Yeah, we and I actually was worried about our energy right away, um, and we, for some reason this year, we're having a real trouble with our starts. Um, we've been bad in the first half of every game. Um, and you can't just flip the switch, especially against good teams to get behind like we did versus Shenandoah and Hagerstown. So that's something we got to um, really work on. We talk about just focused effort. Um, I don't think effort's an issue right now, but just the the focus of technique and, and just what your effort's supposed to be doing is something we got to work on. And we got to get back to the basics. We got to block and tackle better. And that's what we're going to focus on this week. How difficult is that, just from a standpoint, when you're ready to start a football game and then when you get behind, then you got to change your game plan a little bit more than you wanted to. It's got to be pretty tough. Yeah, it is. And, and that's why I talked to the boys about it. I said, you know, you work all week for this night, for Friday night, and why are you here? You, you know, the two-and-a-half-hour practices on Tuesdays and Wednesdays and things like that, if you can't get amped up for this, I don't know why you're here. And so that's something we talked about. And, you know, the they're, they're kids, and they're learning, they're getting better. And I think uh, this week's going to be very pivotal for us. And, of course, it's an odd week because it's Labor Day. And uh, then it's homecoming for us, too, so there's going to be a lot of distractions. we got to see how we can bounce back and if we can focus on, on the task at hand, which is beating Winchester. Do you, do you kind of get the idea that the players do kind of understand? I'm sure you've made that message very clear. Are they starting to understand what that means for you guys? Yeah, and I actually was very uh, I was happy the other day after film. You know, the co We have film with the kids in the morning on Saturday, and the coaches, we stay and do our thing. And So I was leaving about 1 o'clock, and we were done about 11 and the seniors are still out there all talking in the parking lot. So I know that there's something going on, and they're, they're, they want to get it fixed and go in the right way. And, uh, and uh, I think it's just going to take some leadership. And uh, like I said, just getting back to the basics. But I think the kids know what we got to do, and I think they're going to be ready for it. Hey, before we talk about Winchester, as you said, your routine's different again this week. Your routine's been kind of messed up for a couple of weeks. Yeah. How do you readjust and try to get back on track as quickly and as normal as you can? Well, you know, it, it, you can't. You just got to deal with the distractions. And so, for instance, we're, we're going early today simply because um, I wanted to, the kids to have a whole day of rest. I didn't want to go in the evening. And we're having our normal Monday practice today. Um, and then we got the JV game tomorrow, which will take our Tuesday practice away. But in the same sense, it might be a blessing because we we're banged up a little bit. And we got some injuries. So I think it'll be a good restful week for the kids. So, But our routine's been out of whack this year, <laughs> starting with that game uh, against Hagerstown. So, I mean, I still ha I'm still catching up on sleep, I think. <laughs> I so we're, we're going to be all right. We're going to get there. It's going to be a good week for us. Well, then the homecoming thing doesn't help either, does it? No. So many distractions with homecoming. And, um, you know, you want the kids to be involved and in to enjoy everything. And we're having a, a big pep rally on Wednesday, which we haven't had before. So we're actually going to go straight from the practice field to that. And uh, and then, you know, we have the parade. We literally get off the, the thing and then walk in and play a football game. So there's just so many distractions on homecoming week. And we're, it's going to take some focus and maturity and leadership to make sure that we're in the right frame of mind. And you play Winchester football team, and yeah. you saw them. You've seen it. You know what they can do. They're they're not too bad. I don't think too many people consider them to be maybe as good as they are right now. But they're playing pretty good football. Uh, they're a really they're definitely not a, a no and three team in my opinion. That's like last year when we played them. They came in one and seven. They're the best one and seven team I've ever played. Um, and because they're going to be well coached and they're going to have effort, and uh, that's what you're going to get from Winchester all the time. And you know, I was watching film, and I know that they're going to bring it. Um, and they're never an easy out. So, uh, and, and for us, you know, the, we're a bad team right now, so we got to get better. And, and uh, we're coming in, in my opinion, both teams are 0-0, and, and we're starting over here. So, and I know that's how Mike's going to approach it this week, and they're going to be ready to hit us. I know that. That's how it always is with Winchester. You know, watching them, they, they have a balanced attack. They can do both, can't they? Yes, they, they can, and uh, they can throw a lot better. I've noticed that their passing game is a lot better than last year, um, which is something we're going to really have to work on this week. But they're good up front, and they get after it, and they're confident in what they do offensively, which is all, another thing, just like we talked about last week. It's a different offense that it's hard to replicate in a week. So we got to get our, our scout team guys really to give us a good look. But, you know, they ran all over us last year. So we're going to have to really dig deep here and, and try to make sure we can even get over on offense because they just eat clock.